Hello everyone, welcome to the first installment of Board Matters for 2018. I'm Michael A. Vargas, Board President for San Benito CISD and your host. We're here at our flagship campus, San Benito High School. Boy, have we been moving quickly to make sure we are achieving the gold standard in all areas of public education. As they visit campuses, it is evident that our Greyhound team and family are all on the same page. I hope the beginning of the year has been treating everyone well as we lead into star testing time in the coming weeks. First, I want to address a severe issue that is plaguing school districts across the United States, including our own. After the unfortunate tragedy that occurred at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, we have received threats at our various secondary schools across our district. Rest assured, though, we are acting on each threat expeditiously and prioritizing safety and security measures in each of these schools. We investigate the credibility of said threats and additional school police officers are on hand to assist with the monitoring of our students and staff. Classes are running normally. And as a reminder, the district's police department has a campus crime watch line available to the public. Individuals are encouraged to report incidences, incidents, crimes, and other suspicious activity via an anonymous call or text to 956-254-3664. Again, that is 956-254-3664. And please keep in mind that our number one priority is providing the best education possible, as well as the safety and security of every student in our district. Now let me update you on all the happenings that occurred in our February school board meeting this week. As part of our special recognitions, we honored Veterans Memorial Academy ninth grader Paul Saavedra, who placed in the Rookie and Apprentice Division at the Texas Regional One Braille Challenge. We also honored all of the district-wide science fair winners at the elementary, middle, and high school levels. Great job to each of the winners, and thank you for representing each of your respective campuses at the district level. We should definitely be proud of each of these scientists at San Benito CISD. I will now move on to the topics discussed and approved by the Board of Trustees during this week's meeting. The Board of Trustees approved a joint election agreement between our district and the City of San Benito, as well as contracting with the Cameron County Elections Department in preparation for the May 5th elections. For this election, the Board also approved the election polling sites, as well as the formal places up for re-election this year, which are places 1, 2, and 3. The Board of Trustees also approved the 2016-2017 financial audit, which we believe will yield great news as we end the fiscal year, the strongest the district has ever seen. Other items that were approved under business and finance included band uniforms for San Benito's high school band department, 90 student desktop Dell computers for San Benito High School. We set, the six, we set a fixed rate for transportation services. We identified hazardous transportation routes for funding, the purchase of two Tahoes for the San Benito CISD Police Department, and the awarding to G&G contractors for the building of district-wide canopies, an LED lighting project for Dr. Garza and La Encantada Elementary to be conducted by Eco Induction Systems. Other items that were approved under administration included memorandums of understanding between San Benito CISD and Nueva Luz Foundation and TSTC dual enrollment. District campus improvement plans for 2017, 2018, and also revisions to policies DCE and EIC local. I'm also ecstatic to report that the Board of Trustees finally took the big step after several town hall meetings and public hearings held around our district to approve the repurposing and rezoning for Dr. Garza Elementary and Landrum Elementary, as well as the approval to establish an early college academy housed at the Veterans Memorial Academy. This is extremely exciting as we will finally take the important steps of innovation and thinking outside of the box in the hope of providing the best education possible for our students. The Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts and Math or STEAM Academy, which will be housed at Dr. Garza Elementary, will be the second of its kind in the entire Rio Grande Valley. Dr. Carmen and administration is in the process of hiring all personnel for the new STEAM Academy. The Early College Academy will finally provide high schoolers with expedited opportunities to become more college ready. The new educational complex will now be housed at Landrum Elementary, where our gateway to graduation and our positive redirection center will be housed. We are also considering other ways we can incorporate other district departments into our new educational complex. So as you can see, the Board of Trustees, along with Dr. Carmen and his administration, has been hard at work listening to the community being transparent about our decisions, and finally voting on a plan that will set as San Benito CISD to compete against our neighboring charter schools who have been consistently taking our students. 
Before I let you go, I also want to highlight the awesome work our communications and public relations staff is doing to market and promote our wonderful district. If you have tuned in to KGBT Channel 4, you have probably seen some of our promotional videos. This is just another sign that we are on the move and making sure that we are truly advertising the greatness that is San Benito CISD. Well, everyone, it's been a pleasure updating you on this first Board Matters installment of 2018. I want to thank Mr. Henry Sanchez, principal here at San Benito High School, as well as his administration and staff for hosting me today. San Benito CISD, please keep up the good work. I mean that. The district is witnessing and experiencing unprecedented successes. I thank each and every one of you for the hard work you put in every single day to ensure that we are inching closer to achieving that gold standard in all areas of public education. So till next time, be well.